Hi, welcome to Buildings of Tomorrow. My name is John Lester, and today we're focusing on the important topic of hydronics, what it is and why it's so important for us in the future. In the studio today, I'm joined by Chris Kopp, an HVAC theory and hydronics expert. Chris, welcome. Welcome. Thank, thank you for you. joining us. Uh, thank you, John, for having me here. My absolute pleasure. Let's start at the very beginning, Chris. What is hydronics? Okay, so when we talk about hydronics, we have to think about our infrastructure that we have in the building to heat and cool and ventilate and air condition the buildings. Okay. And when we look at these technical infrastructures, we can think about them as being set up in three parts. We have one part where we produce the heat and cool, and then we have to distribute that throughout the building all the way out to the consumers. Okay. And when we need to move this heat and cool from the production all the way out to the consumers, we do that most often by using water, warm water or cold water, to get the capacity out to the consumers. And the way this piping network where the water runs in is set up, that's what we call a hydronic system or a hydronic setup. Okay, so through all of these large buildings, there is a piping network which takes the heating or the cooling to the places that people need it most. Exactly. Okay, exactly. and this is called the hydronic system. This is called an overall hydronic system. Okay, yeah. and what are some of the parts that, uh, that make up a hydronic system? As I mentioned before, we look at this in three main parts. Okay. Uh, usually, we start out at the consumer because okay. that's where we need to create uh, the things for the users of the room so that they feel comfortable, that they have warm enough or, okay. or cool yeah. enough. Yeah. And then we have to make sure that the proper amount of heating and cooling is delivered to these consumers at any given time when we operate the building. Okay. And this then goes back to the main distribution, which generally assigns certain amount of heating and cooling to the different main parts of the building to zones and so on and all the way back to the production where we have boilers for heating where we have chiller plants to create cold water to then uh, make the building comfortable okay so these three parts of the hydronic system the consumers where the people are the rooms the houses the, the places the distribution the pipes through the building and the production the boilers that you mentioned all of these uh, form this complete system, and this is what we're talking about. Obviously, this is the, the delivery system, the most important part of, of creating this perfect environment for people. Yes, I think that's a very important part. And what we now want to do in, in this setup is that we would like to match what we produce with what is needed out there at any given time when we operate such a building. And overall, we call this demand-based control. So we would like to operate this whole setup based on the demand of the different consumers of the different rooms or the different plants that need heating or cooling. Okay, and is this where the balancing comes into it? So to ensure that we don't make too much and to make sure that we don't make too little to, in, to make ourselves comfortable and happy within our space. Yeah. When, when we talk about balancing, we mean more that we make sure that the right amount of nominal flow is assigned to the different parts. What we would like to achieve from a controls perspective is that we control this whole setup in a way that we match the demand from all the different consumers more or less exactly with what we produce and deliver through the distribution. Okay. And of course then balancing to make sure everything is equally balanced out is an important part. But before we come to that, we have to think about then how should this hydronic system be built up? Okay, perfect. How do we really make the piping so that we can adjust the capacity? That's okay. an important part. So the hydronic system is the delivery part of, of these buildings to ensure that we stay warm and to ensure we stay cool when we need to be. And it's important for us because this is where we spend our energy. This is how we supply these contents. Exactly. Perfect. And what we want to do is we don't want to overspend, so we don't want to produce as much as possible and then find out at the consumers, oh, we don't need that. We rather would like to just prepare the right amount of heating and cooling to match the needs out there. And that's where, where we have our proven 
building automation functions that help us to achieve that, but they heavily rely on the proper setup, which is the hydronic system. It's kind of, you can think of it as kind of the foundation okay. for this whole system, you know, and this has to be designed and installed and set up properly because only then can we reach this goal to have demand-based control, as we call it, uh, in all operating conditions. Okay, so this is the foundation. If we get this part right, then we have the opportunity to be successful with the rest of our things. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. And thank you, everybody, for joining us on Buildings of Tomorrow. Feel free to like, share, and comment, and subscribe here on this channel. And we'll see you again shortly.